Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create colorful bubbles using channels. First step, go to the layers. I'm going to create a new layer. So click on the plus. I'm going to recolor this as white and select the paint bucket tool and, you know, color it white. So as you can see on the layer, now it's white. Okay, select the ellipse marquee tool press and hold shift plus alt and create a circle and now from here uh, we're gonna go to the gradients the gradients are where the paint bucket tool is so this is the gradient tool select it and go with the basic black and white and make sure that it's on linear gradient which is this one right here Okay, we're gonna go to the channels, which is this one right here. If you don't have the channels, you can go to Windows and select the channels. And we got the RGB, red, green, blue, okay? And from here, we're gonna select the first one, the red. Click on it, so only the red is highlighted. And just drag the gradient from up to down. As you can see here, it uh, you can see the blue. You're gonna go to the green, and I'm gonna do this for example from this side all right and I'm gonna go with the blue and I'm gonna do this from this side now I'm gonna check all of them click on the RGB so everything is selected right now and now if I for example want to change the colors in some of these areas because I don't like how they blend in I can also change it separately so for example if I want to go with this area let's say I want to change something I'm gonna select for example the red one I'm gonna press ctrl T and I'm gonna select the RGB again so everything is selected and now I can rotate this as you can see it changes so I want to go some like this maybe and go with the green control T and from here you can also create a new layer actually you know what I'm gonna go with this layer press and hold shift and so select this empty layer right click merge layers and from here I can, I can press control C and then control V and then control T I can scale it down, you know, and play around, create a composition out of it and, you know, go wild. So yeah, this was it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.